Hello, my friends. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing okay. This is what I'm up to today. Oh, what is that? That's the piggy swing mold. I love this mold. And here's the little piggy right here that came with the mold. But we're not going to use him. We're going to use this angel right here to set on our swing. Now, I have made some piggies on swings, and I will show them to you in this video. We're going to use this Recollections Iridescent Iris. It's brand new. I've never used it before. And we're going to see if uh, it'll be real pretty with our angel, using it to color our angel. And I got that from Michaels, I believe. And then we're going to use these sunflowers here for the seat of our swing. The little base in the seat of the swing. And then I thought these gold holographic little rings would look good in the uh, frame. Oops. <laughs> Along with these yellow Mylar flakes. Now, I do have to tell y'all, I did lose some of the footage to this video. It's the part of me putting the sunflowers in the uh, base of the swing part. Uh, my camera, my uh, phone was telling me I had too many videos and uh, I had to delete some and I accidentally deleted that part and I'm so sorry for that. So we're going to take some of this uh, mica powder right here and place it inside of a little bit of resin. And I like to uh, do it this way so it doesn't incorporate a lot of bubbles into my resin. I put just a little bit of resin in the cup and then some of the mica powders. And I go ahead and stir it up real good. Get the mica powder uh, really stirred up in the resin. And then I add the rest of the resin to the cup and give it a few little stirs and then I pour. And that's where I'm adding the rest of the resin that I want to the cup. And stir it up a little bit and then we're going to lay it to the side and let it uh, degas a bit and then I'm going to get a second cup out here and I'm going to pour a little bit of resin in this cup and we're going to put some of the Mylar flakes in here and uh, I'm going to set that to the side too to degas a little and we'll use that to put in the swing and I'm only going to fill the swing up halfway with the Mylar flakes and then the other half we'll do later and I'm cleaning my spoon off here because I did dip it in those my, that mica powder and then I'm going to drop some of these Mylar flakes down into my cup And then I'm going to stir them up. And I don't have enough in there. I want a little bit more. So I'm going to add some more to the cup. And stir that up. And I think I'm happy with that. We're going to lay that to the side. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. <laughs> So I'm going to spritz the alcohol, some mold, some, the, <laughs> spritz the alcohol in the mold. And then we're going to pour. Now I'm speeding the video up a little bit here because the video was too long. And I had a choice of which part I wanted to speed up a bit. Either the part where I'm putting the swing together or this part. And I thought you might want to see me putting the swing together in real time instead of fast forward it a bit. So that's why I chose to fast forward a little bit in this part of the video. And I didn't uh, make it so fast that you can't tell what I'm doing. Um, so I don't think it's going to be, you know, too big of an a issue. And if it is, I do apologize. I am so sorry. But the video would have been way too long. Okay, so here I'm just dropping in. A big ring and a little ring, a big ring and a little ring until I get completely around the frame with the holographic gold rings. 
and in the pack it has a little tiny ring and a big ring so that's what I mean by a big ring and a little ring I'm just spacing them out that way okay now we're going to go ahead and pour this angel so I spritz some alcohol in the mold and this angel is notorious for getting bubbles in his legs because of the way the mold was made. So I'm just going to drop in a little bit of our resin here. And then I'm going to get one of my silicone tipped brushes. And I'm going to go in those legs he's got and uh, try to push out any bubbles that may be in there. And I'm going to use my heat gun, spritz some more alcohol, and then we're going to go ahead and top this mold off and push it to the side. I think these uh, beads here will match our sunflowers perfectly. So I decided to put some of those in here too. So I'm going to get my paper towel here. And I'm going to uh, just uh, put a little bit of those Mylar flakes on it. And we're going to dip some of them into the frame as well. I love these Mylar flakes in resin. They just dance around in your piece. And they are so beautiful. So we're going to add some of those to our frame. One of my subscribers said she was waiting on this mold to come. And I told her that I had it. and uh, Well, she seen I had it because I uh, had uh, showed you all in the haul. So I was, uh, she said that she would like to see me uh, create in it or what I had done with mine. So I decided to go ahead and push this video ahead of some others that I had just for you so you know who you are and this video is just for you these swings are super cute i love making them and you can put any kind of uh anything you want on the swing really okay i'm going in with some of those beads now there's an orange a yellow and a white color in here so i'm just trying to space those out as best i can instead of uh putting like three yellow three orange and three white together i'm just trying to space the colors out in the frame but it's hard to find uh something that will set on these swings and not hit the frame you know it has to be pretty small I'm spritzing the mold with some alcohol, and I'm going to go ahead in with that seat that our uh, pig or angel sits on, and we're only going to fill it up halfway. Now I have two cups here, one to the left, one to the right. I'm putting some resin in them, and we're going to put, the, the mold has two little slots for birds. There's two little tiny, tiny birds. And we're going to do one of the birds red and one of them blue in uh, red glitter and blue glitter. So I'm just dropping the red glitter down in the cup and then some of the blue glitter down in this cup. And I'm going to stir them up. I'm going to spritz some alcohol in the mold. And now we're going to go in with one of the little birds. And then go in with the blue for the other bird. Then I'm going to clean my mess up a little bit. <laughs> I always have to make a mess. <laughs> okay, now here's the part where I missed the footage. You can see now that the sunflowers are down there in the mold already. And I'm taking this mother of pearl right here. It's a mica powder. 
and I'm going to drop some of it down in my cup. And that's what I chose to uh, drop in behind everything to top off the whole, the whole mold. It's going to be behind our sunflowers, our miler flakes, and everything. Let's go ahead and demold our angel right quick and see if his little legs are all intact. Oh, thank goodness. There's no bubbles there. He's perfect. And I love that color. He's beautiful. Trying to get my table situated. I told him he'd sit over here, right there, and watch me put his swing together. Now put him right there, sit him down right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have some resin here, and I'm going to go ahead and pour it in the cup. And then we're going to stir up that mother of pearl mica powder in here. How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's doing well. I got to go uh, get some groceries when I get done with this video. Woohoo! <laughs> I like getting the groceries. I don't like coming home and putting them all up. <laughs> Okay, I think I have that stirred up enough. I'm going to go ahead and fill my cup up here with the resin that I think I might need to fill this mold up. I'm going to go ahead and stir it up. And I'll let it sit there and degas for about five minutes. And I'll spritz the mold with some alcohol. And I'm going to heat it up a little bit, pop some of those surface bubbles, and then I'm going to go ahead and pour it. Oh, that's beautiful, sitting on top of that yellow. I'm going to go ahead and top that seat off to the swing. And now we're going to go ahead and top the frame off. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop a few more little drops in here. Make sure it's completely full. Because it will shrink a little as it cures. And I'm going to use my heat gun. I'm going to spritz a little alcohol. And now we're going to go ahead and cover this mold. And I will see you back when we get ready to demold it. Okay, I've laid out some of my tools here so we can put our swing together. Let's go ahead and demold it. Oh, that's pretty. I love those holographic rings. They look so beautiful. Let's get our birds out. There's one little bird. You see his little beak? <laughs> Let's get our little blue bird out. Now let's go ahead and pop this frame out.
and there it is do you like it do you think it's beautiful I love those beads in there now let's see what our sunflowers look like oh my goodness I love it look at that isn't that beautiful okay now I'm gonna try to get everything ready here and I'm gonna sand him a little bit on his legs and just around him a little bit before we glue him onto the seat Make sure you're wearing a mask when you're doing sanding if it's not wet sanding because that resin dust will get in your lungs. And I'm just going to dust him off with my brush here. Now, this uh, frame has a certain way that it goes inside of this piece. And you'll know it, you know, if you, if you have the mold, you'll know what I mean. They, it fits in there a certain way. And there it is. Trying to decide what I want to do next. <laughs> okay, they provide you with these little... Um, these little screws, I forget what these are called. I use them a lot. The only thing they didn't provide you with in this was uh, some of the little jump rings. They don't come with jump rings. That's the only thing you don't get. I'm going to take my drill here. And before I start drilling, I'm going to get this uh, Sharpie here, and I'm going to take the little, um, these little things they provided it with. Now, I don't know the name of these, but I'm going to take them and uh, put them in the little holes that they have provided in the swing, and I'm going to hold it up here to the uh, frame of the swing. And I'm going to make me a little dot on the frame to make sure I get my little uh, pin screws in there just right. Because I don't want my swing being lopsided. So I'm just making a little dot on the frame. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my drill, and I'm going to drill in just a little bit, enough to let me get my little, uh, my little screw in there and start turning it into the frame. Now I'm going to pick up one of my little screws and I'm going to put it in there and see if I have the, the hole deep enough. And I don't. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to drill a little bit farther in there. And now that's perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and drill the other hole. Now I'm going to see if I have the hole deep enough. 
and I do, so that's perfect. So now I'm going to take my Gorilla Glue here. And I'm going to dip the tip of it into my glue. Make sure I get a good amount of glue on it. And I'm going to put it in that hole that I drilled. And now I'm going to take my pliers here. And I'm going to twist it until I get it locked tight into the frame. Screwed real tight into the frame. And that looks good, so I'm straightening it up. Now let's get the other one, dip it into the glue, and put it in our hole that we drilled. And now I'm going to get my pliers, and I'm going to go ahead and twist it until it's nice and tight into the frame. And there we go. That looks good. I'm going to line it up. And there it is. And I'm going to use this UV resin right here. And uh, we're going to put a dab of it on each side of our little uh, our little side poles to the swing. I don't know what those things are called, but I'm going to go ahead and glue my little angel on the seat first. Okay, he's, uh, I think he's on there pretty good. So now it's time to put these little things on. And here's the uh, jump rings. And I didn't know that my pliers were magnetized. <laughs> But they are. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't know that as long as I've had these. Okay, so I'm just going to take this jump ring and see if I've got it. See if I can get it closed up on there good. Okay, there's one of them. There's the other one. So now we've got those on there. Now comes the tricky part, because I don't have but two hands. <laughs> okay, where I put the, uh, the UV resin at, the glue, I want to hide it, because it's going to be a nice little dab there to make sure our poles stay in our swing. So how I'm going to hide that little dab of glue is with these pretty little Swarovski crystal um, beads. I'm trying to get the right size here for both of them. So I'm going to put that UV resin. See that I'm trying to show you where I'm going to put the bead at to hide the dab of glue that we're going to put on there. And there's a hole that's uh, made into this swing on each side for the ends of those little poles to go in. I'm calling them poles because I don't know what the name of the, those things are. And I'm going to slide that bead onto uh, the pole here. And I thought I could do both of them at the same time. But no, that's not going to work. <laughs> I'm going to have to do one at a time. So I'm going to get a Q-tip and I'm going to wipe that glue off 
that I put on the other side of the swing because if I don't wipe it off, it's going to cure when I put the UV light to this side. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that bead down and go ahead and cure it. And now we're going to go ahead and do the other side. I'm going to put some of the UV resin over that hole. And I'm going to place this underneath the seat so it will uh, hold that swing up while I'm getting my other side over here. The bead slid onto the pole. That way it will free up one of my hands. So now I'm going to go ahead and get that pole down in the hole. Drop that bead. And go ahead and cure it up. Now I picked it up to show you if you can see the two beads on the side. It's a little blurry. And I decided to get my big light out so I could cure it up nice and know that it's uh, not going to come off. And here it is. And he swings. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so now we have to put our little blue and red bird on our frame. So I'm going to put a little bit of UV resin on him and stick him up there. And I'm going to put them facing each other like they're chirping and having a little chat with each other. <laughs> And I'm going to get my UV light and I'm going to cure those birds right on up. Okay, now it's done. And here it is. Isn't that too cute? And I'm showing you those beads that I uh, put on the little uh, poles to hide the glue. And he swings. Okay, now here is the ones that I made. I had to stick it in the video somewhere, so I decided here was the best. And I made earrings for this pig. Isn't that cute? He says, be strong. And it says, praying for a cure. This is one of my breast cancer piggy swings. And I did the birds in the chameleon powders on this one. I love these little pigs. <laughs> swing, little piggy, swing. <laughs> okay, here's number two. This one is another breast cancer piggy. It says, go pink. And I put little beads, little uh, pink and uh, like an off pink and a... I don't know what color they really are. Off pink and white, I guess. And I put beads in the hands, too. And they stayed there. They didn't move. I thought that was pretty cool. And I put a red bird and a blue bird on top of the frame on this one, too. And he's just a swinging. <laughs> and then here is number three. This is another angel one that I done. And I put doves, uh, holographic doves, on the base of that one. And on this one, I didn't put the screws in it. I just took jump rings and put them around the frame. And uh, it held up fine. And then here comes number four. 
Now, this was the very first one I ever done. And he has earrings. She has earrings, too. <laughs> Little diamond studs. And this one at the top, I put a chain around the uh, base up top and connected everything together. <laughs> then here comes number five. This is my favorite one. It's a red bird on a swing. I put some real dried flowers in the base. And the little white flowers that are in the base, they glow in the dark. Okay, now I've come to the end of the video, you guys. I would like to big I would like to give a big shout out to all of my subscribers. Thank you for showing up and supporting my channel. This channel means so much to me, and I couldn't do it without you all. I hope to see you in the next video. God bless you, my friends. Bye-bye.